1950, the world is divided. Every block represents 10 years of average lifespan. In the poorest of nations, the child mortality is high, and hence the life expectancy is as low as 29 in Afghanistan, 28 in South Sudan, and 27 in Mali. A majority of the world has a life expectancy in the 30s or 40s, all represented with three or four red markers, respectively. In nations where the life expectancy is above 50, five pink markers are placed, such as in Brazil, Zimbabwe and Malaysia. In most of Europe, the number is above 60 and marked in yellow. Some of the most well-off nations in the world have already passed 70 and is marked in green. This map is based on current day geographical borders and divisions. You can find more geographical clarifications in the description below. And with that, we start time. In Africa, most nations start out in the red, and while some small island nations like the Seychelles, Mauritius and Cape Verde is pulling ahead, most nations are by the 1970s, early 80s, up in the 50s and marked in pink. By the late 80s, southern Africa is mainly painted in yellow, with many nations making a remarkable development. But the 90s brought on the HIV AIDS epidemic. And that hit southern Africa so hard, the life expectancy was pushed back to the levels of the 1950s. In Eswatini and Lesotho, the life expectancy was at about the same level in 1950, as late as 2005. Small landlocked Rwanda also has some interesting numbers, rising from 40 in the 1950s to around 50 in the 1980s. The brutal civil war and genocide in 1994 was so dramatic for the small nation that it brought down the average five-year life expectancy to 22 in the early 1990s. But since then, the economic and social development has gone fast, and the nation is not far from becoming the first nation in green in Africa south of the Sahara, with a life expectancy of 68. In Northern Africa, the development has been steadier, and Algeria and Morocco end up at 77 and 76 years respectively today. In the Middle East, there has been a steady development, and even in poverty and war-stricken Yemen, the number has risen from 29 to 66. Neighboring Oman has gone from 36 all the way up to 78, and Israel and Qatar have passed into blue territory, with a life expectancy of over 80. The former Soviet republics in Central Asia stagnated in the late stages of the Union and in the decade following the breakup, but have since then mostly passed into green territory. In Southern Asia, India is close to join many of its neighbors in green, having gone from 37 to 69 years. In Eastern Asia, we see Japan being the first nation in the world to pass 80 years, and South Korea, Taiwan and Singapore have joined since then. South Korea's development is remarkable, and it is the only nation to pass all colors in this visualization, from red all the way up to blue. China saw its largest jump from the early 1960s to the early 1970s, from 45 to 62 in just 10 years. New Zealand and Australia reached blue territory in the early 2000s, while the island nations in the Pacific vary between yellow and green. In the Western Hemisphere, almost all nations are marked in green today, despite some of the Central American states starting in the low 40s in the 1950s. Chile, Costa Rica and Canada are blue today, while Haiti is the only nation still in yellow. In Europe, the Eastern nations have in general been a few years behind its western neighbors, but overall the numbers are similar. While most of the west, north and south is now blue, in the low 80s, most of the east is marked in green, in the high 70s. This map fails to show differences within nations, 
differences that can sometimes be more drastic than between national averages. Life in the city might be at the early stages of urbanization, harsher and associated with earlier deaths than life in rural environments. But today, the closeness to hospitals and improved working and living conditions in cities make most of them positive for the life expectancy. Cities also host opportunities for higher education, which can further increase the positive health choices made on an individual level. Women generally live longer than men, partly genetically, partly as a result of lifestyle. The improvement in recent years has more favored men than women though. If we zoom out, we can see the drastic change that has taken place during these 70 years. No nation in the world is today left in red, and only two handful of African nations are still pink. Today, the life expectancy is close to the same in the United States as in Poland, as in Colombia and Thailand, Iran and Algeria. While development can be seen in the nations marked in yellow and green on this map from 1950, the drastic differences has occurred in many of the red nations from 1950, where the life expectancy in many cases has more than doubled. The life expectancy for the world was 47 in 1950. It has since then increased to over 70, and is continually on the rise. Thank you so much for watching this video on life expectancy. If you enjoyed it, you might find interest in other videos I've made, some of which you can see on the screen right now.